Okay, I just wanted to do a quick video on this new app that the Minnesota DNR will be using uh, for mobile creel surveys. Um, it's a it's in cooperation with a, a private company that also has this app out for different states. Um, so the app is called iFish, and so for Minnesota, it'll be called iFish Minnesota. So in this particular case, you would just want to go to the Play Store and then download that app called iFish iFish Minnesota and then from there you would just install it on your mobile device it's also available for Apple as well uh, so anyways we can just go here and open this up iFish Minnesota and then from here it's a little uh, the instructions aren't that great so what I'll show you what you do uh, to get to the Creel survey part of it uh, but before I talk about that, I'll just show you quick here. Um, y there's many different options. You can you can check for lakes that are near you. Uh, you can do a, a manual lake search, or you can just go into this iFish Minnesota main menu. It'll tell you how to use iFish Minnesota, frequently asked questions, uh, and then you can see other apps as well. This, this FAQ is really good. It tells uh, a lot of questions you might have, general questions, things like that. So anyways, I'm going to go back here to this main menu and uh, just kind of focus on this Creel survey part of it because, uh, like I said, it's not exactly clear how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to go up to the top corner here to the Essentials, and from there it'll give you a menu, a list of a bunch of different items, uh, fishing knots, videos, books and magazines, etc. Um, so this bar across the bottom here, uh, it says I fish forever. You're going to want to click that. And I don't know how well this is going to show up here on video, but at least you'll get the general idea of what I'm doing. Um, from here it'll say, uh, do you want to log in or register? Um, if you haven't registered already, just go ahead and hit register and you'll go through the registration process uh, with your uh, email address and password or whatnot. So I'm just going to hit log in because I've already signed in. And there it'll show my email and password and I'll log in. So from here uh, it'll give you a few options. New trip, past trips, frequently asked questions, and export data. This FAQ is different from the main FAQ and it uh, s talks specifically about uh, this Creel survey portion part of it uh, as far as what is this program? How do you participate? Um, is the data anonymous? Who sees the data? Uh, why should I share? Do I log every trip? And so on and so on. Um, one of the main ones here is what if I only log part of my trip? Say your battery dies or whatever. They understand that and they're gonna they're gonna factor that into their uh, uh, decision making when they when they use this data, whatever they uh, go ahead and use it for. So even if you can log only part of your trip, go ahead and do that because they will be able to use that. Uh, so I'm going to just go, go back here and show you how to do a uh, just a I'll do a test here to show you. So I'm going to go to new trip, and you can you don't have to name the trip, but what I've been doing is just kind of naming it the date the date. So like for example, today would be five. Uh, 25th I believe 525 50 and you can name it anything you want I just do that so I know what to go back to if I need to select water body uh, there's different ways to to search you can just type in a few letters or if you can't find it you can enter a custom name and uh, for what I've been doing uh, here's the thing the streams and, and rivers are not currently in this system um, so if you're going to be like say on the Mississippi or for myself the Minnesota River You're just going to want to type it in the in the custom name and then when they get this data the DNR can uh, See that you know you were on a river um, So like I said, you can just type in a custom name here, but just to show you how to search um, I'm just going to do a test one here and uh, You know, let's just say Let's just say Lake Minnetonka We can just type in the first few letters search and Lake Minnetonka actually comes up the very first one so I'm just gonna go ahead and select that and it asks are you targeting specific species this trip we'll say yes for this example we're gonna use uh, we'll just say largemouth bass and uh, 
you can just save that then it asks how long are you planning to fish uh, let's say we're gonna go out for four hours and from here you hit start fishing when you hit start fishing you want to do that when you start your trip so let's say we started our trip now this program is basically running in the background you're fishing and now you caught a fish so we'll just hit caught one uh, select a species now it automatically defaults to the very top to largemouth bass so this is one of the things where when I did this the first time I looked through there and I couldn't find the fish I was looking for well that's because it's already on top there so go ahead and select that and even if you uh, catch something other than what you're targeting you want to basically record every single fish uh, so from there you want to make sure you measure it and we're just going to say that fish was 18 inches did you keep or release a fish we're going to say release uh, was it alive or dead we're going to say alive then additional notes you can add something here uh, just personal notes if you want because you can also export this data for your own records um, for this one here we'll just say uh, missing whatever missing a portion of tail fin or you know something like that missing tail fin you know something you can add whatever you want if it was tagged if you it, you could add the tag number there um, weather conditions you can add something there anyways we're gonna save that And then at the end of your trip, um, there's a done fishing button here. You just go ahead and hit done fishing at the end of the day. Done fishing. That says, do you want to close this trip? Okay. Uh, so there it is. There's your trip. Uh, that data was automatically sent to the DNR. They will keep a record of that. Um, and you can read those FAQs as far as who sees that data and what exactly the data is used for. Um, but basically that's it in a nutshell um, well, I'm just gonna go back here go back to the essentials um, just show you quick here I think there's a way you can go and export the data from your last one there's probably a better way to do that I'm not just kinda just backed up but I'm gonna log back in So from this main menu here, there's actually a there's a button here for past trips, so we can click on past trips. And there's just a couple of tests that I ran. Here's an actual trip that I did last night. You can bring that back up, and that was on the Minnesota River uh, with a flathead catfish. Um, told me the time I caught it, how long it was, and any notes that you added on there. So we'll back out of there. Uh, then now you can also export the data for your own personal use so just go to export data and what that does is it sends it to the email address uh, you registered with so now it should be sending me an email it exports it as a CVS file so you should be able to open it up with uh, like Microsoft Excel or whatever so yeah, that's how you go ahead and do the creel survey. I would recommend anyone uh, who has a mobile phone and fishes a lot do this, or even if you don't fish a lot, uh, Minnesota DNR is looking for this information, and any amount of inter information is helpful to them. So whether or not you catch a fish or not, they're interested in how many times you go out, how many hours you fish, how many fish you caught, even if it's zero. A zero is just as important as uh, you know catching a limit. So. Um, I think this is kind of a bug when you back out. You you have to log in each time. And I'm not sure why that is. But anyways, if you back out, you just log back in. You can go to home. I'll just show you show you quick here from the main this main menu. You can you can look up lakes. Uh, for example, here's Minnetonka. It gives you a bunch of information, the lake details. Uh, you can view a map, fish species. You can view hotspots, lake reports. Uh, download regs if you want to look up the Minnesota regulations. Um, that's about it for that. You can always hit the home button here and take you back to home. Uh, that's about it in a nutshell. I'm probably missing uh, several things, uh, but I just wanted to show everyone how to do that. 
Creel survey. Um, and like I said, just go to the Play Store for Android or uh, Apple iTunes. It's a free download, and uh, I'd say it's really important that we get, go ahead and do this so the DNR can manage our fisheries properly. Thanks for watching.